This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, I asked you at the end of the uh, last lecture to think about the 3867. There's an expenditure variance of 3867. We don't know why it happened, obviously. In real life, you'd ask the manager. But I wanted you to think of possible reasons. Now I'll jot down, it won't take very long, uh, but make sure you appreciate one reason would be wrong. It's not because we've used too much material. You know, we've checked a usage variance completely separately. That 3867 simply means that for some reason we spent more than 450 a kilo. We should have paid 450 a kilo. We paid more. And so we're simply thinking of reasons why we might have paid more. Well, I think the most obvious reason is maybe there's been a price increase. When I did the budgets, the supplier uh, was quoting 450 a kilo. Price has gone up. And if it's gone up, fine, we've no choice. It's not the manager's fault. If the price has gone up, the price has gone up. Uh, often um, in classes, people suggest other things like, oh, we may be importing goods and the exchange rate is just, oh, fine. Um, it's a similar idea, though. For whatever reason, maybe we've no choice. Price is higher, we're paying more per kilo. And it's not the only possible reason. It could, what about this? It could be that the price hasn't gone up at all. We still could have bought it for 450, but the manager in charge of buying material has perhaps gone to the wrong supplier and paid too much. Or perhaps the 450 was after getting discounts. The manager forgot to get the discounts and paid too much. I call that bad buying. Like I say, maybe we just went to the wrong supplier. Possible, surely. Uh, and if that's what's happened, all right, we've lost money in January, let's say, but we better teach the buyer how to go to the right supplier, you know, and hopefully we can correct that for the future. Uh, what about this? It could have been a bad budget. What I mean, uh, maybe we made a mistake. Uh, we budgeted at 450 a kilo. People don't budget perfectly. Maybe by, that was accident. We should have budgeted 460 a kilo. We put the wrong figure in the budget and, you know, <laughs> it was wrong. We, we had to pay more. Again, I'm afraid we're just going to have to live with that. We've got to make sure next year that we try and do our budgets a bit better. What about this, though? Now, this is important. Maybe we paid more because we bought better material. Maybe it was deliberate. We could have bought material for 450, but we deliberately bought better material and had to pay more. Now, why should we do that? You know, why on earth pay more when we could have bought it for 450? Well, there are several possible reasons. It could have been to make a better product. But why should we do that? We're not a charity, you know. Surely, though, the reason uh, you might want to make a better product is so you can charge more. Or a better product that you can sell more. But, now think about this. If this had been the reason, if you bought better material and we've had adverse variants, it's cost us money, 
If we'd done that so we could charge more, surely there'd be a favourable sales price variance. There isn't here. If you look back, it's adverse, so it doesn't look as though we've paid more to be able to, uh, to put the price up. Uh, sell more. If we sell more, there's a favourable sales volume variance. Well, there is here. We did sell more, though I'm, I'd be surprised if it's because it was a better product. I think we probably sold more because we charged a lot less. Why else might we have bought better material? Ah, less wastage. You know, maybe we're making desks, we're using wood. But the original wood wasn't terribly good quality, so we kept having to throw bits away. Ended up using four kilos overall a unit. We decided to buy better material, paid more. But maybe, because we don't need to throw away as much, we can use a bit less bit of it. And what would happen if there was less waste, wastage? Surely there'd be a favourable usage variance. And here there is. Have a look. We overspent by 3867 on the material, but maybe it was better material and we used less. We did use less. We saved 612. Okay, the two together didn't seem a very good idea. We've only saved 600 to spend an extra 4,000. But you know, if the saving on the usage had been 6,000, then of course it will be worth spending more on better material if the saving on the wastage was greater. You see, it's terribly bad, dangerous to look at them separately and say, bad, good, good, bad, good. Yeah. They could be linked together, in which case you need to look at the two together. And if the two together were overall saving, that's good. If the two together are overall bad, uh, adverse, that's not good. I think you've got my point. Uh, there's one other reason I can think of, though, why you might have bought better material. Maybe we could work faster. At the moment, the wood's not very good. It takes them a long time to cut it. Buy better material and pay more. And maybe they can cut it quicker. They can produce faster. In which case, what would happen? We'd have a favourable efficiency variance. Working faster, we'd save labour, we'd save overheads, we'd have a favourable efficiency variance. I'm not going to wind back, it is favourable here. But again, if that any of these were the reason uh, for paying more, if it was because we bought a better material, then we should look at the two variances together. If there's an overall favourable, it was a good idea. If it's overall adverse, it was a bad idea. So be aware of the possibility. This idea of one variance affecting another variance is called the interrelationship. Of variances. As I say, it's not always a question of looking at them separately. Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. Uh, they could be linked together. Okay, that's enough. So it's taken quite a while. Like I said at the beginning, it's only two pages, but it's a lot to go through. Uh, variances are important. They're bound to be asked. Uh, as I said as we went through, the arithmetic itself is easy. Uh, it's remembering the rules. You know, learn the rules. And for the last time, how you learn the rules, how you set up the workings is your choice. But the more, I personally think, the more you see the logic of what we're doing, 
the easier it is to remember and to remember correctly. But that's your choice, and then of course it's practice.